So you're thinking about moving to Narragansett, Rhode Island. Well, in today's video, my team and I are gonna show you exactly what it's like to live here in Narragansett. We're gonna show you some of my favorite neighborhoods, beaches, restaurants, and things to do. Let's get started right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is about living in Rhode Island or surrounding areas like Narragansett, subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market here in Rhode Island. My name is Devin and my team and I, we get calls and texts every single day from people just like you looking to make their move to Rhode Island and we absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email so we can help you make a smooth transition here to the Ocean State. In today's video, we're gonna start off by highlighting some of my favorite neighborhoods right here in Narragansett. So the first neighborhood we're standing in today is the Bonnet Shores neighborhood. Bonnet Shores is located on the northern side of Narragansett. This is a very popular neighborhood for URI students and tourists. A lot of URI students choose to live over here because it's much easier getting to class compared to those students who live further into Narragansett. A lot less traffic tends to build up over here. You can take Bridgetown Road, which crosses Route 1, giving you a straight shot into campus. So we're located on Old Pine Road. Old Pine Road is one of the neighborhoods here in Bonnet Shores. It's off of Boston Neck Road. And the price points over here will vary. They range between 400,000 and a couple million dollars. Obviously, as you get closer to the water, the price points are gonna increase. In this area, you'll find that the homes tend to be smaller and closer together compared to some of the other neighborhoods in the area. One reason that many people choose to live in Bonnet Shores is for the Bonnet Shores Beach Club. This beach club offers private beach access, pools, changing rooms, and dining, which makes for a great family atmosphere. Another draw to the Bonnet Shores area is actually the local ice cream shop. Brickley's Ice Cream, which is family run and has only two locations, you will often see lines of people in cars waiting in the summer months just to enjoy their famous ice cream. With easy access to the highway and beaches, this may be a neighborhood you consider buying in. Follow me to our next neighborhood, the Pier. So right now we're standing in the Pier neighborhood in Narragansett, Rhode Island, and the Pier is a very desirable neighborhood. This tends to be a lot of second homes rather than primary homes here in Narragansett, Rhode Island. And the reason why this neighborhood is so desirable is because it's an easy walk to the water and the Narragansett Town Beach. You also have options by walking to the shops and local restaurants located in the Pier. You'll find this neighborhood is much more accessible to necessities such as your grocery stores, gas stations, banks, etc. The price point over here is going to range between 700,000 and 3 million. So as you can see, as you're walking with me, a lot of the homes in this area are very well maintained. As you can see the home to my right, there's a lot of pride here and ownership in the Pier neighborhood. You'll also take a look that the house right here that has been newly constructed is also very well maintained. You'll find that some of the URI students do occupy this neighborhood, but this is not going to be as popular as some of the other neighborhoods we'll highlight in this video today. Now the Pier neighborhood is gonna be a neighborhood for you if you like walkability and like being in the center of the action. The next neighborhood we're gonna check out is a little bit quieter known as Great Island. The Great Island neighborhood is a hidden community here in Narragansett. This neighborhood exists at the bottom of the Galley Escape Road here in Narragansett, Rhode Island. It's close to the Block Island Ferry and gets its name from the fact that it actually is its own island. You will see unique, one-of-a-kind homes and cottages here. The neighborhood is especially desirable for boaters. Many homes here offer deep water docks and the ability to add a dock. While there are summer rentals and weekly and monthly offerings, it has turned into a year-round community for residents to enjoy. You have the fishing port of Point Judith down the road, where the Block Island Ferry departs several times a day. You also have the beaches along Sandhill Cove Road, which provide ample parking. The beaches here are protected by the breakwater and are very calm and enjoyable for family and kids. The homes on Great Island are gonna range between $700,000 and 3 million. Now, a lot of the homes here are very desirable due to the limited inventory that comes on during the year. After we check out this neighborhood, let's make sure to head over one of the most popular neighborhoods, Scarborough Beach neighborhood, also known as Eastward Look. So the Scarborough Beach neighborhood here in Narragansett, also known as Eastward Look, is a very popular neighborhood for the URI students and those visiting here during the summer months. If you're looking to invest in real estate, this would be the neighborhood to buy in due to the weekly summer rentals that transition into a perfect academic rental for the URI students. 
During the school year, you can expect to get between $600 to $850 per bedroom if you decide to rent to the URI students. Now, as we walk through this neighborhood, what you'll notice is a lot of the properties over here are going to sit on top of each other. A lot of the times the yards are shared with one another and you can expect the price points over here to be between 500,000 to about a million dollars. So this neighborhood is walking distance to Scarborough State Beach, so no need to really worry about beach parking or traffic, even though there is ample parking available if needed. The last neighborhood we're gonna be highlighting today here in Narragansett, Rhode Island is the Ocean Road neighborhood in Narragansett. That neighborhood features the most exclusive homes and some of the most expensive homes here in Narragansett, Rhode Island. Ocean Road follows the Narragansett coastline all the way from Point Judith into Bonnet Shores. You'll find the homes in this area are gated with ample privacy. Many of the homes cannot be viewed from the road which makes this extremely desirable for those looking for privacy. As we highlight these homes from above, you'll find many of the homes have amenities such as pools, tennis courts, and basketball courts. The majority of these properties have non-obstructed views of the ocean. You can now see why this is one of the most expensive neighborhoods here in Narragansett, Rhode Island. The price points over here are gonna be between $1 million and $5 million. Now that you've seen where you should buy, let's visit some of our favorite restaurants. So the first restaurant we'll be featuring today is the Coast Guard House. The Coast Guard House is located at 40 Narragansett Road, right here in Narragansett, Rhode Island, and I do consider this a prime location. You're very walkable to the Narragansett Town Beach, but also walkable to the shops located in the Pier Market directly behind us. It does offer both indoor and outdoor dining. In the summer, I do love sitting outside at their rooftop deck. It's probably one of my favorite features of the restaurant. They did add a beautiful bar upstairs with stunning views of the ocean that was put in when they were forced to make renovations after the damage caused by Hurricane Sandy. The atmosphere can be casual or upscale depending on where you decide to dine within the restaurant. From the menu, I highly recommend the scallop entree, the raw bar selection, or the lobster bisque soup. That is one item you don't wanna miss out on. This is one of the restaurants you definitely wanna visit on your list of restaurants while visiting Narragansett, Rhode Island. Let's go visit the next restaurant, the infamous Crazy Burger. So here we are outside of Crazy Burger, located here on Boone Street in the Narragansett Pier neighborhood. Crazy Burger is gonna be walkable to the Narragansett Town Beach, but keep in mind, it's gonna be about a 10 or 15 minute walk. This restaurant offers a wide selection of menu items, including breakfast. I would say they're most well known for their burgers, which was featured on Guy Fieri. They do offer a few vegan and gluten-free options, which does provide a lot of flexibility for the customers. This is a very casual atmosphere, so don't be concerned about dressing up. Now be mindful that Crazy Burger is not open super late, so if you're craving them, make sure you get here early. The next restaurant on our list is Iggy's. I think it's safe to say that Iggy's is a Rhode Island landmark for many people. Iggy's is located at the southernmost point of Narragansett in Point Judith. When visiting Iggy's, I highly recommend ordering a Doughboy, which is what they're famous for. They've always had a large selection of sandwiches and a good kids menu too. Most people come here for takeout food from their window, but they do offer indoor and outdoor seating as well. If you've never tried Iggy's, this is something you definitely wanna try when visiting Narragansett, Rhode Island. If you're looking for something a little more upscale, let's head over to Spain of Narragansett. So Spain Restaurant is located at 1144 Ocean Road. This restaurant is gonna be a lot more upscale. It's a great atmosphere for birthdays, anniversary, or a date night. Spain offers a Spanish cuisine with a Mediterranean influence. They are known for their handcrafted menus, cocktails, and wine list. This is a family owned restaurant and this is one of their two locations. Now that we've discovered where to eat, let's take a look at some of the most scenic beaches here in Narragansett, Rhode Island. So the Narragansett Town Beach is a popular beach for locals and tourists coming into town. I do think it has some of the best sand in Narragansett compared to that of some of the other options in the area. Please be aware that most likely you'll have to walk a little bit or pay to park if you don't have a Narragansett residential sticker. Admission will vary based on the time of year, but beach access is free after 5 p.m. So as you can see, you're gonna to wanna to get to the Narragansett Town Beach early. This beach does fill up very quickly, and as you can see on in the distance there, it's about 10 a.m. in the morning and the beach is already being filled up. So the Narragansett Beach does offer a lot of amenities like snack bar, locker rooms, showers, and also one of the nice features about this beach is it is walkable to a lot of the restaurants located in the pier, and this is a beach that you're not gonna wanna miss out on. The next beach we'll be looking at is Scarborough Beach. Scarborough State Beach is gonna be located more towards the end of Point Judith. This beach is gonna be slightly smaller than the Narragansett Town Beach. 
During the beach season, you'll find public restrooms, outdoor showers, wheelchair accessibility, a large parking lot with an overflow lot, a concession stand, and several shaded gazebos. The beach is open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and the gates close at sunset. Now that we've been able to cover Scarborough State Beach, let's move to our last beach of the day, which is Roger Wheeler State Beach. Roger Wheeler Beach is located at the far end of Point Judith here in Narragansett. This is a great family beach. Since it's protected by the Block Island Sound by a breakwater barrier, it has a very calm and kid-friendly environment. This beach also offers a playground and beach pavilion. During the beach season, there are public restrooms, outdoor showers, a large parking lot, concession stand, and shaded gazebos. Nearby are additional restaurants to enjoy after a long beach day such as St. George's of Galilee or Champlin's where you can watch the Block Island Ferry come into the harbor. Now that we've checked out some of the beaches here in Narragansett, let's look at some of the things to do while visiting here. Even though Narragansett is known for its beaches, it does offer a lot of other activities for those that aren't beachgoers. So the first item on your to-do list is gonna be visiting the Block Island Ferry. Now Block Island is a seven by three mile island located 13 miles off the point of Point Judith. This is an area that you can get to by two options, either plane out of Westerly, which is about a 45 minute flight, or either the traditional or high speed ferry. Now the traditional ferry is gonna be about an hour boat ride. The traditional is not gonna be as fast as the high speed ferry located right behind me, which takes about 30 minutes. The Block Island Ferry makes trips to and from the island multiple times in the summer. The traditional ferry, like I said, takes about an hour and runs all year round, while the high speed ferry, which is only a 30 minute ride, usually runs seasonally. The accessibility of the ferries or a flight from Westerly makes it really easy to visit Block Island for the day or the weekend. You can also discover more of the island through my Block Island vlog on the YouTube channel, Living in Rhode Island. So Adventure Land is centrally located right here in Narragansett. It's easily accessible from anywhere in Narragansett, right off of Point Judith Road. Adventure Land offers many activities for the family, including mini golf, go-karts, batting cages, bumper boats, and a carousel. They even have an ice cream shop on the property, which really makes Adventure Land a one-stop shop for the family fun. Speaking of adventures, let's head off to our next activity, Narrow River Kayaks. Narrow River Kayaks is located at 94 Middle Bridge Road. This is located between the Bonnet Shores and Pier neighborhood. Narrow River Kayaks offers kayaks, paddle boards, or canoe rentals for either two, four hours, or for the full day. They also offer kayak lessons for kids and paddle board lessons as well. Once you pick your desired vessel, you can venture through the Narrow River and also explore the John H. Chafee National Wild Refuge. This is certainly an activity you should have on your list of things to do while visiting Narragansett, Rhode Island. Thanks for joining us on the vlog tour today of Narragansett, Rhode Island. If you're interested in this area or other surrounding areas in Rhode Island, all of my information is in the description below.